Hello everybody, welcome to Friday Night Stand Firm on Friday. I'm Jimmy Ventura, with me is Gorilla Mezzo. Hello, hello, it's been such a long time since we've sat down with all of you for some glorious JFW wrestling, but the long wait is over. We are live in San Jose, California with Friday Stand Firm, and what a show we've got for you tonight we are just outside of a week from the royal rumble my personal favorite pay-per-view of the year it is going to be something and we are going to get a little taste of the tag team action on display at royal rumble because i'm getting told we are getting some form of a triple tag threat between cock and ball torture Doss Hats and the newcomer Scaramezzo and Satterfield for the two heads titles should be a wild match. We're getting all six of those men in action tonight. Two triple threats and here comes your first one. It's cocky. It's Scaramezzo. It's Lean Gary. It is Friday. Stand firm. How are you doing tonight? Jimmy Ventura. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you very much, Gorilla Mezzo. And yes, this is going to be an interesting triple threat here. Um, and of course, at the Royal Rumble. And I don't know, help me, uh, the Royal Rumble is unconfirmed. Uh, it's unconfirmed exactly who's in it. But um, it's also unconfirmed how many actual competitors are in it. We need to hash that out and work it out. It has exactly been what's confirmed going on. there is going to be all 30 men that normally wrestle in the rumble 30 man royal rumble oh, coming at you in just 10 days times help me uh there's about what 99 available names that could go in that match probably slightly less than that so you got about a one in three chance of getting in there El yeah but of course there's we some don't people know in anyone <laughs> we don't know anyone confirmed for it just yet we do know by the end of tonight we will know one we will know the very first entrant it is not a spot anyone ever wants to get, but hey, for these four competitors, it will be worth it because all four of the men vying for that for that spot have lost their jobs in the JFW, and the way they can regain it is by winning a battle royal later tonight. Those four men are uh, Marcel McDaniels, <laughs> Volcayo, Kiwi Nutsack Attack, and Crusher. One of those men will win an over-the-top uh, battle royal later tonight, get their job back, and get put in that number one spot in the Royal Rumble. Yep. <laughs> and here he comes, Skurometzo. It's a him. Skurometzo is coming for those two heads titles. He has yet to win any championships in the JFW. Could this be his first championship outing in just a few days' time at Royal Rumble? Sunday, January 31st, 10 p.m. UTC. Oh boy, just over a week. I can't wait. Imagine if Marcel's number 30. Yeah, so it's going to be exciting, isn't it? See who's who. I believe that. Slot number one is better than number 30, isn't it, historically? <laughs> it's nearly it's nearly as good. <laughs> it's pretty close, too, because I think they've had, what, two people win it for number one? Yeah. Ric Flair did. No, technically Ric Flair was number two when he won it. Um, there's Michaels he... won it. and Michaels uh, won it, yeah. Benoit. And then Rey Mysterio. Benoit all won it from the one slot? I didn't realize that. Yeah, and Rey Mysterio and Vince won it from number two, which might as well be number one, right? Yeah. Austin didn't win it from the number one slot, did he? And not according to Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> so, there you go. Well, Matthew, maybe, uh, maybe that's not. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Let, that let's might bend, have been harsh. Let's bend one <laughs> that. <laughs> let's bend one yeah, that. fair enough. <laughs> I don't mind talking about the man's past there, like past, you know, because you can't, you can't pretend like you didn't do those things, but yeah. you don't have to meme it either. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. Hello, Frosty. 
And last one out here, Lean Gary, uh, one hell of an accomplished tag wrestler, also has made some huge, huge leaps and bound wins as a solo wrestler, almost winning Scaramezzo's high intensity tournament. Coming into the finals before it got spoiled, claims he was the winner because he did beat FanFox in a one on one match later on in the JFW. And to be fair, one of the reasons that J that WWE censor him is because it was kind of their fault as well, right? Wasn't it with all of the CTs? Yeah, that's stuff. the thing. They, that's the worst part of it. Yeah. That's the thing I, I kind of can't get behind with the censoring of it. Is yeah. that JF or excuse me, JFW <laughs> WWE does not do it out of like respect for the dead or anything. They do it because they don't want people talking about CTE and steroid abuse. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So. Um. So yeah, and he was a hell of a wrestler, obviously. Um, right. Oh, God, fucking hell out of Jesus Christ. I mean, you see that. <laughs> I didn't, didn't even see that one. Yeah, Clavius, we dust him off when we don't want to, uh, <laughs> we don't want, we don't want to put you and, uh, Tony into a, a mid-card match, Frosty. <laughs> <laughs> and also on Night Demon, holy shit, that, those emotes are amazing for the Let's Do yeah, This. Yeah, I was wondering how long it's going to take you to notice those. Yeah, they're amazing. Fuck, I want to copy them so bad. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> That's one of my favorite things ever. I could have like 133 and a third percents, maybe. <laughs> and both these one. guys going right after Skrull. Don't like the newcomer in the tag division, apparently. But that uh, union did not last long. Lean Gary going after Cocky now. And Cocky right back giving it to Lean Gary. Oh, yeah, I remember that night, Demon. Yeah, I remember him saying that, yeah. And he did say, he did mention, he did mention uh, the guy that Double Double E don't want you to mention. But yeah, exactly, just because of that, which is a terrible reason to mention it, so. Oof. Oh, and Skuro now laying them both out, going for a quick pin here. Remember, this is single, single pinfall wins it. This is not elimination. Very hopeful pin there by Skuro <laughs> on Cocky. Maybe looking to try and end this before uh, the, the ball plundering begins from Cocky. <laughs> Table leg. Pretty good. And of course, I don't even need to speak in these anymore. I can just... <laughs> <laughs> I can just do that. <laughs> yep. Oh, look at this teaming up again on school. <laughs> oh, and here's a here's a pin on uh, on Lean Garrick. Doesn't get the one count again. Easy kick out there. Scuro pretty uh, staggered there on those ropes, though. Yeah. Maybe he's just off his tits. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> really sizing him up. Maybe he's going to try and use his small package to put him away. Yeah, as we saw Monday, stand firm. <laughs> or excuse me, Monday night cloth a couple days ago. Sorry. Hard to remember there. Uh, try with the uh, with the help of Try's small package, getting the win in a in a uh, in a uh, elimination match to get himself a an extra arms belt championship match against Foxamania at the Royal Rumble, and uh, that is our first official title match. Although I am being told these three tag teams will be going at it in some form. For the two heads championships. Oh boy. Alright, gonna just dance in and out of the ring right now. Oh yeah, apparently. <laughs> 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 well, well, I think this benefits Guru getting a little bit of a break out there. And then they fight each Looks other. Looks like eventually. his uh, penis is out. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that white belt. <laughs> 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 we should make it skin colored. <laughs> uh, I 
think we're good. With a purple end. <laughs> Jesus. Sparrow <laughs> made it in, got suplexed, and rolled right the fuck back out. Oh, there's that walking standing splash coming up empty as it usually does. And Cocky, Cocky here, big discus kick. Here's the pinfall. He might win it. Oh, he nearly oh, did it. Oh. <laughs> two and two thirds. Scarrow comes in and celebrates, even though he had no impact on the result, but might be able to sneak something dirty here. Nice package shoulder breaker. <laughs> and here's the pin. Oof. Two count on Cocky. Probably should have been working over Lean Gary there once he had him isolated. Yep. <laughs> oh dear, Ancy. He should really retire, shouldn't he? <laughs> or like do matches like The Undertaker did at, at WrestleMania. That was brilliant. Who's he wrestling, Ancy? Is it like Darby Allen? Hello, Flicky Flack, our main eventer tonight. <laughs> oh, geez. Well, Darby Allen might die in that match to make all three of those guys look good. Like, <laughs> Brian Cage is going to throw Darby Allen into orbit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to insert himself there from behind. Shiro comes over, takes a swinging neck breaker. <laughs> really lulled him in there with the brain worms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know what to say about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Darby loves doing those fucking dead drops. <laughs> terrible, terrible idea. Oh, yeah, non-title match taking on the Extra Arms Belt Champion. The, Extra Arms <laughs> Belt. <laughs> the jumping jacks of Lee and Gary continue. The Extra Arms Belt is spoken for at Royal Rumble, but uh, we've heard from Flicky time and time again. That that world title is his and his uh, by right for whatever reason. And he's doing everything in his power to try and lay claim to it with a match at Royal Rumble. Has not yet been booked, but a win tonight might uh, give him the clout to do so. Mm. I can lean Gary's move. It's horrific, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> See Snick do that at a, the next day. <laughs> Imagine if he did it. It'd be incredible, wouldn't it? <laughs> have, like half fucking jumping jack. <laughs> Another package shoulder breaker there. And Skuro, I don't think you're going to get that pin off, my friend. No. No. Instantly broken up. Oh. oh, but here comes this one, won't be. Yeah, up, 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 power bump this could be it. There. Here's the pin. He's got him. Oh! oh! <laughs> Again! Lee Gary has now kicked out of two finishers at the very last millisecond. Scarrow can't believe it. Cocky back to his feet now. Scarrow takes him right down with a huge lariat. And now trying the pin on Cocky, but here comes Lean Gary. Breaks mm -hmm. that one up. And that's the uh, that's what happens in a triple threat match. Yep. <laughs> that was ill-advised taunt from Scarrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Most, uh, most of the JMW Ooh. suffers from those. Oh, there's the Scorpion Death Drop on Scarrow. <laughs> nice try, Cocky. Cocky. Cocky, oh. Cocky having presence of mind. This could be a dangerous moment, but no. Lean Gary able to knee him, kick him, and punt. Nope, not punch him. <laughs> Wild punch back there from 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 Cocky as he works oh on the bleeding. Boy. Lean Gary, and here comes the shattered dreams. This girl might lose oh. his match, but he'll be happy not to take that move. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Here comes the pin. This could be it. He's, he's taking the power bomb. Oh. Oh, another kick out by <laughs> Lean Gary to save the match. Skrull could not get up in time, but he is up now. And he's got Lean Gary for another pop up power bomb. Oh, this this gotta could be, be it. it. Got to be. be. Lean Here Gary's comes done. the pinfall. And that's going to do it. Skrull has stolen this one. 
That was a hell of a match. Wasn't that long, but what a match from those three. Skuro getting the win, and since joining this tag division, as it were, uh, Skuro Metso undefeated alongside uh, Satterfield. This one obviously not a tag match, but against his future opponents and sending a huge message, you are on notice, cock and ball torture. They're coming for those titles at the Royal Rumble. What a match. Unbelievable, Jeff. And the only reason Skuro can stand tall on that one is because of the resiliency of Lean Gary. Wow. Indeed, yeah. Unbelievable stuff from Lean Gary. Shitty little feet. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, next up we have another champion. Well, another, the uh, championship match coming up. We are getting that rematch, Papa Piccolo versus Labred Mask for the Plim Plom Cruiserweight title, uh, getting uh, preempted last week by a backstage attack by the unemployed Antsy, but we're going to get it tonight. Plim Plom Cruiserweight Championship on the line, coming up next. Yep. And uh, I think that benefits uh, Labred Mask, if you ask me, the Friday fuckboy wants to be wrestling on a friday night not monday and here we go let's get to ringside oh wait a second that's antsy antsy's in the ring he's got a mic what's antsy got to say all right geezers you thought i'd been fired well guess what you can't fire someone who doesn't have a contract that's right i'm here because i'm one of britain's hardest men I've come out here to show my worth and teach grab those big brass balls that jim's is always on about you know, those big ones he has hanging about, we should grab them, squeeze them, and take it from there and go after it. That's what I want to do. I want to go after Papa Piccolo's belt, grab, take it to myself, grab those balls and show that I'm the best plim plom blues away in the business. I mean, there he is. He walks around backstage like a Poundland Ferrero Rocher in his big shiny gold armour. I mean, I was only bringing some sausage rolls out to, to Scotty and uh, I saw him there and I thought, you know what? I'm going to smack that mug right in the face. And that's what I did. Oh, he claims he won. But I didn't have a concussion. I still got up. I walked away and I gave that mug a good old slap in. But yeah, I'm here now and I'm going to show it. I might not be in Royal Rumble, but I'm just going to come after that his title and go and teach him a lesson. And then, and he's, he's like, you look at that mask. It's like, what? It's almost like he got that out of bloody, um, he popped down bloody Portobello Market and nicked it off some stool. What a dodgy geezer he is. And now, and then, of course, he's supposed to be taking on the bread mask. Well, guess what? It's uh, he's not because it's me next. It's my shot. It's my title because I want it because I have and I'm going to put it up there on the shelf with all of my inside soap awards for best British actor. Yeah. And I've, I've won a couple of them for my Royal and EastEnders. And then afterwards, I'm going to go down the booze and have a good old knees up at the Queen Vic. It's going to be great. Wow, a surprise to see Antsy back, but all of a sudden, that's Labred Masked Music calling out Papa Piccolo, trying to uh, lay claim to a title shot, even though he's not even employed by the JFW. And uh, Labred Mask might have heard enough. This is twice now that Antsy has gotten in the way of a title match for Labred Mask, and the Friday Fuckboy is here tonight, and good Lord, is he about to talk, folks. Oh dear. Ah, j'ai pas pu passer. J'en voulais vous dire. Comment se fait pite pied? JF dans le yours en bocal de vébé. Vébé, j'aime beaucoup ce petit loupeau. Plim, plim, plom, plou. Plou, c'est vrai, toi, y'a pas ce petit I don't care about your title shot, mate. You can shut your north and south, because otherwise I'm going to slap the taste out of your mouth. You've already been there and you failed. You've had more title shots than I've had concussions, which is a lot, because I've had more than the entire NFL combined this season. I mean, what I go for each week is better than what the Holmes went through last week when he got knocked out cold. And that's just the norm, because that's how hard I am. So I suggest it's my time now, so I suggest you get out of my way and let me have my shot. You little Friday fucker. Oh, pomfrit, j'en baisse un peu de cul. C'est pas le fait pour papi, et j'en bois tout. 
The Bank of P, Mickey Pesafel, Zipokotu, Dorbet de Beer, Bodami, Zirbole, Vodobo, Zorbet de Coupelopo, Pitopé. Me? Afraid of you? I'm not afraid of you. I'm, I'm Britain's hardest man. I don't need to worry about anything. I mean, even when you had that triple threat match, you had to take my finishing move because yours wasn't good enough. So I tell you what, if you want a match, I will give you a match. I will smack the taste right out of your little bread face mouth. And then, and then I'll move on to the bigger fish and then take out old Ferrero Rocher. It's going to be great. So just stay out of my way if you don't want to slap around the face. <laughs> <rire> J'ai fait ces burgers au pu. Pour le fopper, je flamber les bombes. <rire> Fuck. Yo. You what? It's this jacket. I'm not going to a tennis coach. It's the finest Fred Perry, which I wear when I go down Millwall to take, smack out those slags on a Saturday night. Yeah, so anyway, you want to do it? You want to fight? Well, let's do it right here and now. But I promise you one thing, it'll be me heading to the Rumble for that, for that title. It'll be me walking away from where with the belt. I'm going all the way to WrestleMania, where I will take on anyone, anytime. And I will be the winner at that Plim Plom Plus Await belt. And then, once I've got that, I'm going after the rest. No, oui, 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 mon petit poids. The popusher fait bé. The bully plomb plou. The fumble me début. Jambon de terre. The vocal pidlo pur. See you. Ah, il peut signer un signe. Chipalon. Oh, my God. <laughs> you what? No, 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 mate. You, it's, you, want, you want it here? It doesn't matter where we fight. I'll even fight you on a Monday. I'll fight you on a Tuesday. I'll fight you in a box, I'll fight you with a fox. It doesn't matter, I'll take you on anywhere. And you can sit there and you can come out and you can run your little mouth. And, it's, and that doesn't matter, I'm going to still just slap the shit out of you. Oh, the boss, 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 the <laughs> well, I can't believe it, folks. The bread mask won. <laughs> well, I think our flip flop blues way match is gonna happen. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Fancy versus Le Bread Mask is gonna happen right now. It sounds wow. like it, I mean it's hard not to know. They just set it up for <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty clear. <laughs> what a war of worlds, Le Bread Mask coming out on top. Antsy versus Le Bread Mask coming out next. Looks like they're gonna head to the back and enter again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god, I'm so glad I thought of that last minute. It was genius. Absolute genius. <laughs> thank you. Thank Absolute, you, Ants. <laughs> Absolute genius. Yes, thank oh, you very much, Ansi. Oh. <sighs> Fucking hell. No, oh, I've got to recover. Pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm going to be useless otherwise. God, here he is, the French Canadian himself. Oh boy, <laughs> totally lost it at one point. <laughs> yeah, both, both back, back backstage to come out, wonderful. They gotta get their pyro entrances, haven't they? Oh dear. Dear me. <laughs> Did I have a honey? Yeah, I was speaking at one point and I broke down. <laughs> So hard. It was so hard. Oh dear me. And here he is. <laughs> and his opponent from London, England. 
Boo! I've only seen one game. Funny enough, the uh, I was reminded of your uh, <laughs> of your promo when you were like speaking Mexican. <laughs> oh, not, not Mexican, Spanish, I guess. Right? Is it Spanish? Mexico? Spanish? And then just like <gasps> all these words we don't understand. Then big man, little man challenge. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> oh dear me. It may be, it may be a squash. We'll see though. Hopefully it's a good match. Two of the top plim plum pluserweights. Well, not in the JFW because Ansi is has been fired, but they're letting him compete. <sighs> oh dear me. <laughs> All right. Well, I have uh, recovered from that one. Holy shit. <laughs> and here we go. The match that we heard so eloquently heard set up just moments ago. The bread mask versus Ansi. Ansi's uh, employment status very much unclear at this stage. Seems like he doesn't give a fuck. And, uh, well, we know Jim McMahon doesn't really pay attention to the Plim Plum Pluser weight. So maybe oh, yeah. Ansi can just do whatever he wants. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Maybe if he was attacking, uh, you know, maybe he was attacking JBG or uh, Foxamania, there'd, there'd be some, some, he might care, but yeah, I guess he doesn't give a shit about the Friday football. <laughs> oh, yep. <laughs> yeah, we should have turned off entrances for this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, that could have been an idea, couldn't it? I, I thought of that too, and then I forgot to mention it, and I was like, yeah, whatever. Well, right now, Lebred Mask, the uh, seasoned veteran, taking on uh, Flicky coming. Or excuse me, Flicky, uh, Ansi coming off the uh, coming off the couch for this match. But <laughs> Ansi had some pretty strong words for for both Papa Piccolo and Lebred Mask in the ring. So he's got something to prove. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Oh. That's oh. A, oh, Cleo. And the Arcleo out of nowhere might have caught Ansi out. No, uh, no, no count on that pinfall attempt there. The bread mask still firmly in control of this one. <laughs> Fair enough, Flicky. <clears throat> I had an idea for Flicky as well. I have to tell you after it. Shouldn't, right. shouldn't say it in the middle of the uh, match, but it's it's a decent. Yeah, idea. probably not a good idea to be developing during the match. I gotta let a dog out. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, probably not a good idea, is it? Kayfabe and all. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Whoa! Off he goes. Man, I'm still recovering from how hard I was laughing. <laughs> I just had to mute and piss myself laughing. I have no choice. <laughs> it was too much. Oh dear. Ref up to a three count here as the fight has spilled to the outside. Antsy trying to take control of this one. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should have just put like a bit of bread in my face and just walk away. <laughs> well, that was my original plan. Was <laughs> yeah, that would have been pretty good. That would have been pretty glorious. I think I think uh, what we did was in. better. Until I'm victorious. Oh, thank you very and much. I will defend. I will defend. Hon 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 le plim plum plu. Oh, fantastic. Uh, didn't re I didn't realize I'd changed the uh, donation lady to speak French, but uh, <laughs> no, well, not donation, text to speak lady. Thank you very much, Skuro, for staying fantastic for 
two and a half years? Is that right? It is, isn't it? 30 months, yeah. Oh, shit. Glorious. Or uh, <laughs> some amount of diva pregnancy. Seven and a half. Glorious. Thank you very much. Six count here for Ancy and uh, Lebret Mask, but it looks like Lebret Mask probably about to put him back in the ring here. Yep. Oh, working that. Uh, oh, brutal, brutal submission there. That does not look ple pleasant. Ancy not loving his life right now, but uh, <laughs> those arms not very well pinned, so easy to punch his way out of that predicament. But he comes up empty on the splash. Shades of Lean Gary there, except he <laughs> ran. Oh, devastating shoulder. Or did he hit him in the head there with his knee? Hard to tell. Mm. And a pin attempt here. Might get a two count. Does get a two count. <clears throat> Ansi thought he had a three count there. A little bit hopeful, I think. But here we go. Oh, boy. <coughs> The brain worm bungle coming up. Oh, he's got it. <laughs> oh, the dire drop. The dire me. drop. He's got him. <laughs> he does it. Ansi wins it clean. What a way to whip your dick out and assert dominance. <laughs> Ansi shits all over Lebret Mask <laughs> after calling his shot. And right in the mix is this guy who we maybe is still unemployed. <laughs> and could probably be escorted from the premises at any point if any one of the authorities really gave a shit about the division. <laughs> Unbelievable, Jeff. And Ansi coming out, fire, spitting fire, and uh, all of a sudden might have just erased the red mask on a Friday night, no less, yeah. from that title pi uh, picture. Unbelievable. Ooh, I'm sure there's going to be more about that on Monday Claw coming up to Royal Rumble. And now speaking of Royal Rumble matches, we have uh, Six Feet Down Under versus Mighty AF in some form of a burial Hell in a Cell match. We don't know what it's going to be, but we're going to get some tag action. Gengar and G'day Nick, the two original G's against <laughs> Just Joe and fucking Clavius. <laughs> the original eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, yep. The two faces that sailed a thousand ships <laughs> in fear as they fled. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Yeah, Night Demon not getting a, a great showing on Monday night in his uh, Hell in a Cell match. And uh, really, yeah, the <laughs> might uh, Mr. Jim McMahon, he, we know how fickle he can be with losses. A loss here for, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a loss here for six feet down under could, uh, could complicate things in the week run up to the Royal Rumble will be interesting. Oh boy. Here they come. Uh, Gdanik and Gengar. 620 pounds of festering, rotting, maggot-eaten flesh. Yep. Host of it, Gengar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And Nick's not small by any means, but Gengar is massive. Indeed, Ansi. Yeah, yeah. Thank God it's a different. Uh... Of course, on Monday, all those days ago, uh, Gengar was defeated by Try Small Package. <laughs> yeah. Try Small Package ca catching the Tomb Guardian out ruining his shot at the Extra Arms Belt Championship and uh, relegating him to just that one match against Mighty AF at Royal Rumble. And maybe, you know, you know, and the Rumble itself, who knows? You gotta believe some of Six Feet Down Under will make their uh, presence felt there. Maybe, yeah. Well, 
They're about two thirds the weight of the uh, opposing team, <laughs> but uh, you know they can win matches. Yep. Just Joe, excellent uh, former Plim Plum Pluserweight champion. Excuse me, Clavius, the only man to hold the Chaos Chosen Championship and, and seemingly uh, resist its uh, its lure, as it were, staying relatively un. Uh, you know, uncorrupted by it, did uh, definitely hide away with it a little bit, but uh, for most part was able to bear that title without the chaos corruption that we've seen wreak havoc on uh, every other uh, person who has uh, had it in their possession. Yep. Of course, we still haven't That's seen not... uh, you know those guys, have they? They've, they've been they've been whisked away to. Uh... Yeah. Well. Well, we we are hearing. Uh, we are hearing that they've been on a quest to deal with that, and it's possible that that quest is not happening in real time <laughs> or reality to um, <laughs> to the JFW. But you know, yeah, something's happening. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, Joe's so good. Isn't right he? off the bat, just Joe taking it to Gengar, a massive size disparity here, but uh, Just Joe, a very talented wrestler. He sure is. But it's always a tragedy when you don't get to see us. the inverted atomic drop. <laughs> it's just a shame that you never, when you, whenever you don't see his, his single, like, you know, his solo entrance, isn't it? It's yeah. always a tragedy. But... Oh, he's a little caught up in those ropes there. Missed on the cross body as well. And that gave Gengar the opening. And here comes... Go, Day and Nick, uh, tag team maneuver coming, power bomb. Oh, assisted power bomb. Oof. Looking at those mittens there, uh, that. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. See you unseen. Yeah, see you. Oof, devastating. Oh. oh, what a combo there by the uh, small Agile team uh, from Mighty AF. Clavius in the ring now, trying to re-break that already broken neck of G'day Nick. <laughs> yeah, that's just unfair, isn't it? <laughs> he knows it's the weak spot, and he's going straight Still for one it. of the scariest and best moments in JFW history. <laughs> yeah. Flicky Absolutely. Flack legitimately killing G'day Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now the big man tagging in here. Oh boy. Oh, Clavius could have intercepted that, but he failed. But he's going right after Gengar. Doesn't seem to care about the size all that much. Runs him right into the corner there. Dropping the elbow into the chest cavity of Gengar. Yep. That is a very good point, but yeah. <laughs> We need to do the reversed Photoshop of, of Muppets, oh. Muppets Mittens on Bernie. <laughs> huge, yeah, huge <laughs> kick to the corner there on Clavius. And now look at this. Oh, my God. He's oh. just trying to crush his skull. Those huge mittens. <laughs> he's trying to crush through the smaller man's skull. But Clavius desperately punching his way out of that predicament. Dangerous moment there. Nice hanging neck breaker. Wow, Flicky Flack is cold-blooded. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Oh, and we haven't seen this in a long time. We haven't. Flavius loves this maneuver. Suspended DDT. Very happy with himself. Oh, oh, oh and he's looking for oh, the Arclao. The Arclao out of nowhere, even though he's telegraphing it, and he nails <laughs> it. He's got him down. Gdanik's right there, though. Here comes he the pin right attempt. Away. Easily broken up by Gdanik, just Joe fire hosing his way across the <laughs> ring there. Oh, dear. 
Fire hose or small package, who knows? <laughs> Fire hose. <laughs> yeah, Cliffy's is pretty good, isn't he, really, to be fair? Yeah, he's a good wrestler. The ears, the eyes, he's got it all. <laughs> yep. <laughs> the drop kicks. The DDTs, the Arcleos. Classic. Classic JF dub. One of the originals. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. One of uh, one of the best. <laughs> I think no one misses Mrs. Clavius more than Jim, though. <laughs> one of his highest tier uh, patreons, if I remember. Yes, correctly. he was. Yeah, he was the first. He was the first Mr. Thrall, in fact. <laughs> oh dear, first and only. Oh no, 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 there's been there's been other Mr. Thralls. Oh, right. Probably all similarly disappointed. <laughs> 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 yeah, fair enough. Oh, what a maneuver by G'day Nick. That might have taken Clavius down and out trying to crawl for the pin. Does not get it. There's only one Mr. <laughs> oh. oh, stomps on his midsection there. Oh, the Uranagi slams him right down. Oh, Ross would be proud. Maybe thinking about that koala clutch, but uh, <laughs> here comes Clavius trying to fight back. Yep. Oh, look at this. Gonna slingshot him into the ropes there. Almost took his damn head off. Again. <laughs> yep, again. Now going top Ooh. rope. This doesn't look like it's going to work out for him. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close to working out for him. <laughs> oh, dear. And here comes Gengar. Works plays in the Whoa. corner. Absolutely flattens him. Oh, boy. Oh, what a Whoa, combination. And it's still oh, going in the big boot. Good Lord. <laughs> look at this. What a combination by Gengar! You just absolutely annihilate! Oh my gosh! Dead lifts him up, and there it is, Gengar's power bomb. Here comes just Joe. Oh, Joe just missed. Joe. He totally missed. <laughs> he missed by a mile. Luckily, Flavius <laughs> kicks out, but I think he's about to get kicked on here. Oh, got him. I think that's maybe his ring rust there, Sean, for Clavius and uh, Joe, yeah. wasn't there? Clavius with that ill-judged ill uh, diving attempt, and then <laughs> Joe's Clapped complete the inability to break up. Of Clavius, <laughs> and he's very much in control here. That sure was a flurry by uh, Gengar. It was unbelievable. Oh, but fighting his way out, desperate kick. And Clavius trying to get away from Gdanik right now for that tag and bringing Gengar all the way over towards his corner. Drops him down, kicks him in the back. Here comes the tag to Just Joe. Oh boy. Drop, drops the leg on the arm there. That's a devastating, devastating. move, that, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely devastating. <laughs> Gengar looks pretty mad. Yep, firing himself up. I think we're moments away from that power bomb uh, lariat combo of his, or elbow combo of his. Yep, look at that. Outrageous. Oh, just, again, these guys don't weigh a whole lot. Not a huge challenge for for Gengar, but still a ton of power on display there, and a long way to drop for a power bomb. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Another Haluva kick in the corner. Gengar maybe a little winded, even though he doesn't breathe. <laughs> and here it is, looking to end this now. Power bomb him and take his damn head off afterwards. That's step one. <laughs> step two, drops the elbow, and now surely a pin. Gedanix right there to cover this. He is. He and annihilate. that's going to do it. Six feet down under. Taking out Mighty AF. It's uh, Clavius 
Clavius uh, coming back to the ring for the first time in a while. That might not bode so well for him, but uh, that was a lot of a lot of meat in the ring to deal with. And Gdanik and Gengar are victorious. Yep. Thank Christ. <laughs> Hello, cocky. Hello, cocky. Really did, Night Demon. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. That, that 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 might be the reason why Frost Lord was not in that match. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we've got the battle royale between the guys who've been sacked. We've got absolutely redemption time coming for one of these men, whoever can survive this four-way battle royale and you can see it in marcel's eyes he knows this is for everything <laughs> they will get the honor of entering first at the royal rumble not the spot you want to enter in but if you're unemployed and you've got a guaranteed contract uh to suffer through it you'll take it <laughs> we can we can only dream that it ends with marcel and crusher <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know about uh, these three other men might not get another shot at the Rumble uh, if they cannot win this match tonight. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see on that one. <laughs> and here he is, haven't seen him in a while. Hashtag slut like himself. <laughs> he's got muscles, he's got sluts, he is Marcel McDaniels. <laughs> I'm still not convinced that uh, he wasn't a bot in the best of times, but <laughs> there's no possible way of knowing now. <laughs> He really turned up as well, not well, quite a while ago, but you know, he'd been away for a while. He did turn up and he was pretty hyped that he'd won. Oh, match. really? Yeah. Oh, well. He missed. He just. He missed his heyday with Table. Yeah, he did, yeah. The greatest Table win of all time. <laughs> the, the fucking <laughs> big splash through the table, through the opponent. <laughs> Can lightning strike twice? Well, nice to see them finally getting to square off. Not the one on one match we've been promised so many times before. Here comes Crusher. Oh, yeah. Maybe they'll meet on the Indies if they can't keep a contract here. We'll have to see. Oh, God. <laughs> Straight into the Xbox. <laughs> yeah, I love a bit of Crusher, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Antsy. <laughs> he should have really come out last, shouldn't he, Crusher? Because it's a bit unrealistic to have a Minotaur just standing around waiting to fight. Uh, hey, um, <laughs> waiting that's patient. the only unrealistic oh, thing about the JFW gym we're doing our right for ourselves. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty. I, I like. I like Kiwi nuts like a top as well. That's true, actually. Yeah, but like, yeah, just imagine he's, he's not. He's he's, made, he's not making a blocker blitz action, so he just stands there and does nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> Kiwi nutsack attack. Um, oh, yeah, again, one him and Volcayo. One of the uh, lesser known firings, they were just kind of in that pile of you better win or you're out. So their employment status really has been more up in the air than fired. But here they are tonight with a chance to cement uh, themselves back on the roster. Yeah. <laughs> I just love the hair behind the mask. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have eyes. <laughs> and uh well 
if you didn't remember, Volcayo likes to dance. Volcayo does, in fact, like to dance. <laughs> He's dancing his way out and trying to dance his way into the Royal Rumble by winning this over the top battle royale. <laughs> it's a pretty great entrance, to be fair. Well, he's looking optimistic. We'll see if that carries through to this four-way over-the-top battle royale. This one could be quicker than the entrances, folks. I think it's almost certainly going to be faster than the entrances, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Marcel might actually be the favourite for this match. <laughs> I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> Considering <laughs> this is almost instantly put out there. <laughs> yeah, Kiwi. Well, if you're going by size, which is usually the uh, determining factor in a Royal Rumble, uh, I think Crusher's got this one in the bag. That's true, yeah. How do any of them... It's like no one has ever them? eliminated the big show at a Royal Rumble, so... It's true, yeah. Or, uh, or the Great Khali. Yeah. <laughs> or Rikishi. <laughs> oh, oh Chris is on the so ropes. Crusher hung up on those ropes there. Volcayo getting distracted, though. And now Volcayo getting destroyed by Crusher here. Oh, look at this. Look at Marcel. Oh, wow. He's got him up on the ropes. He might be going for something here. <laughs> Bouncing him off. Not going for the elimination. Might be a mistake by the ladies, man. <laughs> or, sorry, lady. Lady. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nothing but lady. It's a lady. <laughs> All right, see you, Night Demon. Yeah, see you, Night Demon. All four men looking pretty good right now. Yeah. Oh, Volcayo in a little bit of danger here, though. He's got him up on that turnbuckle again. He's going to try and push him out the hard way here. Looks like oh, Volcayo's yeah. hanging on, though. Oh, yeah. oh and now look at Marcel. Marcel! Oh, yeah, Marcel. Trying to get the big man up and over, but he's not doing a great job of it. <laughs> no. Marcel was a super heavyweight, even though he's not. <laughs> yeah, he was in... weight class is no longer really a thing, other than the Plim Plum Losers. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God, look at this! The power Oh, my goodness, Marcel. what a, what a choke slam by Marcel McDaniels. You'll notice Marcel and Crusher have not faced off yet, to my note. They haven't, no. Maybe a bit of sympathy there. Oh, oh no. And they won't. Well, <laughs> then they won't. Marcel will not be re signed and entering in the Royal Rumble at the number one spot. Ooh, what a tragedy. <laughs> Maybe it. I gotta let a dog in. Okay, okay. Hello, Crusher is Crusher. Oh, I think Crusher. Yep, Crusher eliminates Volk. We've we've got a furry, much to Gorilla's uh, disgust, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, oh, God! Oh, look at him. this. Oh, did I miss uh, Volcayo getting eliminated? You did, yeah. That yeah, sure looks like I did. Oh, spear by Crusher. <laughs> uh, a week from Sunday, January thirty first, Flicky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the two furries. <laughs> oh man, there's a chance. There's a chance for Crusher. <laughs> there is Crusher. a chance for Crusher, but Kiwi Nutsack Attack looking to, looking to maybe resist this trapezius claw here, or clutch, and uh, outlast the bigger Minotaur. <laughs> it's not looking good for him though. 
Oh. Mm -hmm. I want to see Kiwi Nutsack attack ball shot him up and over the ropes. Oh god, that'd be incredible, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be. <laughs> oh, dangerous <laughs> spot here. No counters out somehow. Oh, I think he hurt Crusher there. Well, we can't pick yeah, him up. So, but no, Crusher using his size to stay out of uh, harm's way mostly, but now hung up on the ropes. Oh, counters him out. Oh, this could be it. This could be it. <laughs> this could be it. No, oh, this could be it. Oh, it is. It is. Oh, Crusher's out. <laughs> Huey Nutsack attack with the surprise whirlwind and the clothesline to eliminate Crusher. Crusher, Volcayo, and Marcel McDaniels all eliminated. And Huey Nutsack attack is re-employed. By the JFW. And he's going to be number one in the Rumble. Unbelievable. Yep. First man out. I don't I don't know if he's got the stamina to go 30 places. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. All right. And now the other halves of our three tag teams vying for those titles. It's Mordam Satterfield. And the country wizard, Oriolensis, in triple threat action. These three will all meet at Royal Rumble for those two heads titles. Oh boy. And surely another epic, epic match for those tag team, uh, those two heads championships. Absolutely. Absolutely. glorious. Of course, Skuro winning the match earlier, Satterfield winning or now would really, really be a good look for the newly formed tag team. But I think uh, the cunning of both the Country Wizard and Moradam might make that a hard-fought battle. Mm -hmm. See, right, Satterfield's music's a bit rubbish, but the entrance is glorious, isn't it? <laughs> there he is, Beefcake Satterfield. Oh, Big great. man, the former snacker. Boy, one half of the two heads champions. Cock and ball torture. It is Moradam, the literal fucking goblin. Yep, he's got those shears out. He's revved up and ready for this one. Ah, oh, cheers, Cocky. It is incredible that feels tiny feet, isn't it? <laughs> but not to be outdone, the country wizard is gonna summon up well, not a crazy cowboy, but he's gonna summon up the courage to take on these two men. And uh, get a win for Doss Hats that they desperately need at this point. They have uh, had a rough couple weeks, but they have held those titles before on more than one occasion and uh, know exactly what they're doing. He's going to summon up his <laughs> courage, he's going to summon up his fucking hat. <laughs> well, let's not get ahead of ourselves here, Satterfield. <laughs> There God, he God. is, Oriolensis, the cunt free wizard. <laughs> Try to say it all in one motion, please, Gorilla. <laughs> hey, I'm 
It's just it's my American dialect. Yeah, That's but it might get picked up by the. It might be picked up by the you know the bots or whatever. <laughs> I think you're. I think you'll be fine. It'll get picked up by the same bots that scan all this music and realize it's copyrighted. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's looking outrageous, isn't it? <coughs> Should be alright when it's part of the game, shouldn't it? Very disappointing. <laughs> oh, table leg. Table leg and your giant feet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, bit of a balls up here. Alright, and we are underway. Sorry about that, I had to open a bag of rice. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll take couldn't open it, so I had to open it. And Satterfield, those quick, educated, tiny feet, getting uh, getting this match going, taking both men down. Here comes Oriolensis, back to his feet. Dear, a lot of miscues here. Well, Early in the dropping match. that knee. Oh man, Mordam getting picked on right now. Oh, well, like that change hangs him up on the ropes. Yeah, Mordam smartly rolling out of the ring to recover. Mm -hmm. Of course, Oriolensis in that massive uh, elimination chamber tag match uh, went the distance, but got picked on by both Cock and Ball Torture. Uh, Moradam and Cocky. So you would you would love <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear Moradam. You would love some revenge. But uh <laughs> nice move by Moradam there to break up a big superplex. Oh boy, but the no cell from Satator. Yeah. He's wrecking him. I'm not entirely sure why he broke that up, but <laughs> suplexing Oriolensis helps him as much as hurts him. Yep. Oh. oh, look at this, though. <laughs> what he come is that? Oh, man, Oriolens is having a real bad match. Glorious domination for Moradam so far. Yeah, more or less. Hangs him up there on those ropes. These the tiny in feet. In come those tiny feet again. Very aerodynamic and precise. <clears throat> yep. Concentrates the force on the smaller area. <laughs> like tiny yeah, steel but hammers. Yeah, nice little uh, maneuver there to get to his feet and get the quick kick to get the advantage back in on Satterfield. And there's that tri Ooh. That's trapezius. The testicular claw <laughs> ripping and tearing. <laughs> the trapezius is there, you've got problems. <laughs> yeah. Well, after this match is done, it might be. <laughs> Orlenz has got pretty lucky there. He was just... Oh! oh well, well. given as good as he gets, Orlenz is <laughs> with a low it. blow on Mordam in the pin attempt. Oh. oh, I thought he had him. Mordam kicking out at the last second. Orlenz is almost won with Mordam's own medicine. <laughs> <laughs> and now tree of woe time for the literal fucking goblin as he gets choked out by the feet and now rolls out of the ring once again Oriolens is going right after Satterfield who somehow allowed this to happen <laughs> yeah I guess triple threats on no DQ by, by default there eh? they are yep yeah, you can't that's... be DQ'd in a match uh, where someone else would win <laughs> you know mm. Yes, that was that was why he got away with that devastating ball shot. Also, no countouts. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Well, he's giving it right back. He was waiting to do that. Mordem. Now this one. <laughs> this is a dangerous moment for Oriolensis here. This could be it. Oof. Oh, two count kick out. Able to hang on. <laughs> yeah. yeah, table leg. Calling it like you see it, huh? Yeah, exactly. That one is allowed. Yeah, some some ball shots in the GFW Sat are allowed. But, um... Satterfield spooning the ring right now. 
Oh, bicycle kick there by Moradam Satterfield back up and in the ring now. He's got to get something going here. And he's trying desperately. Oh. Oh, nice maneuver. Right in on. Oh, look at that side suplex. And now Satterfield oh, gearing up for that huge running knee. Moradam in all sorts of trouble here. Oh, huge knee to the skull. Can't get the pin in. Oh, now he does. Or Aurea Lentz is nowhere near breaking this one up. Two count kick out again. Will we see a snack mass? Maybe. Now Aurea Lentz is back in the ring. And right on top of Satterfield. <laughs> oh, Aurea Lentz is real good shot for him here. Yeah, of course, Mordom now on the outside. Oh, here comes the Going here up. comes the uh, the wizard sleeve yeah. elbow. Yep, <laughs> falls away into that elbow drop. Going for the pin now. He's got him. <laughs> he does, and Oriel Lenses wins it. We've seen him in matches with that elbow before, and he does it there again. Oriel Lens is getting the big win for Doss Hats, and the Country Wizard get getting a victory. You'll notice both teams that don't hold those titles getting a win tonight, and that might spell a bit of nervousness for cock and ball torture. They've spent the last few months really uh, aligning with uh, Table Leg Wanger in his feud with Jimmy Fantastic. Might need to focus themselves for this tag match coming up at Royal Rumble. Yeah, that, that might spell disaster for them at <laughs> Sacrifice. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and now it is time for your main event of the night. Flicky Flack versus Foxamania, your extra arms belt championship match. Champion. This is a non-title match. Flicky doesn't even want that title. He's just <laughs> using this to style and profile on JBG and lay claim to a title shot for the World Heavyweight Championship at the Royal Rumble. Here we go. It's Flicky Flack. It's the YPA in your main event. Oh boy. <laughs> Conspiracy. <laughs> oh man. Legendary. Yeah, CBT didn't. Did CBT get pinned in either match? I think Cocky did get pinned, yeah. Uh, I'm not positive. I forget. Mm. No, I think he was down and actually Lean Gary ate the uh, Papa Powerbomb Dandis. Uh -huh. I forget. It's one way or the I mean, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah he didn't. Uh, I mean, Skuro sure didn't pin himself. <laughs> what we do know is uh, it's a fucking flicky flack entrance. Uh -huh. Haven't had a, one of these solo in a while. Uh -huh. This oh, fucking guy. Fucking walk down the ring. Count up your fucking fireworks. God, man, if you have to rely on Pyros to make your entrance good, Ugh. what are you? Can't think of anything more there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. It's Flicky Flash. But at least once the bell rings, he really does turn it on. And of course, uh,. Plain White Toast getting the win over the YPA last week. That's uh, how he started this feud. Well, he started this feud with the ambush attack. <laughs> but I think he wants to end it in a week's time, just over a week's time, for that white belt around JBG's waist. Yep. <laughs> oh, Tom Schniz. Oh, Tom Schniz, you definitely need to watch the VOD, my friend. <laughs> Oh, also, I apologize in advance. <laughs> yep, yeah, me too. But it's the greatest thing in JFW history, so <laughs> deal with it. Oh, A YPA. Yeah, B champion appearing on stand for unbelievable death. Indeed. Both champion, that's what happens. Both both these guys champions, they're tag teams. They're basically they're probably brothers. I assume everyone from Yorkshire is. <laughs> probably, yeah. 
<laughs> if you go back far enough. <laughs> at least they're... At, at, at least one of their moms has had sex with uh, the other one's dad. That's for damn sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's that's a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> and, and both of their moms have had sex with Sean Bean. <laughs> yeah, that, that goes without saying. Every, every lady in Yorkshire, there comes a time where she spends a night at Bean Manor. <laughs> <laughs> Bean a Nocta. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, speaking of spending a rough night with someone, Flicky Flack giving it to uh, uh, Foxamania pretty hard right now in the ring. <laughs> oh boy. Oh. <laughs> oh, the big boot by Flicky, and he's here to humiliate the extra arm belt champion and let JBG <laughs> know. Oh my goodness. Shoulder charges him right off the apron. My God. This is a new side of Flicky, isn't it? This rage. Ah, uh, well, I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't think you've been watching him play Blood Bowl. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. <laughs> <laughs> I shudder to think what would happen if he doesn't win this match. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but we're at a five count now. I have a feeling Foxamania is going to put him in the ring. Yep, there yep. we go. Oh, JBG, loving the fact. Proper champion <laughs> wants to win this the right way. Oh, leg drop coming. Oh. oh, the big leg drop. That could be it for Flicky. It could be. This would be shocking. Oh. No, two count and Flicky kicks out. I mean, that is about the only offense that uh, he's got in, isn't it, to be fair? So. Well, yeah, that is true. You haven't missed much, Flicky. You certainly didn't miss much from your entrance. <laughs> oh, Flicky, a little bit dead leg there, but uh, uh, Foxmania able to stand him up nonetheless, get that suplex. And now Foxmania is coming back in this match. Flicky needs to figure something out here. Oof, running forearm by Foxamania. Oh. And drives that knee into the top of the head. He's pretty savage. Absolutely. Double knee stomp there, standing on the back of his legs. Not comfortable, that's for sure. Mm. But only a one count flicky seething right now. <laughs> he must have walked off camera to have words with someone off outside the room and here he is looking to maybe get that spear in oh sure is yeah here it comes nails it is that gonna do it oh boy he's gonna try all right no no, no two count kick out champ still in this match Flicky might be thinking flack hammer now yes yeah, he, he is, is. Yeah. flack hammer coming could this could do it for Foxamania, and I don't think there would be anything standing in the way of Flicky Flack getting a world title shot against JBG at Royal Rumble, calling his shot. Here's the pin attempt. Oh! <laughs> no! Two count kick out again. Foxamania stays in it. Flicky cannot believe it. Absolutely seething right now. <laughs> trying to rip that beard off. <laughs> Enraged. Not Flicky allowed Flick. to make a 50%. That's for damn sure. <laughs> it always gets you. <laughs> always. Always gets you. But here he comes. Here comes Foxamania trying oh, to get the back Fox into the match. He's got a long ways to go. Foxlock locked in, though. Foxlock locked in. Oh, but Flicky oh, wriggles out of it in a quick punch there. Oh, his arms hurt. But he was able to get some separation. But no counter there, slides out of the power slam. Yeah, very smooth counter. Oh my god. T Tiger suplex. Incredible. <laughs> 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 yes, Flicky, yes. <laughs> we somehow need Flicky Flack to commentate on his own match. Oh god, yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that maneuver, though. <laughs> yeah. 
Flicky gonna maybe try and pin him in the middle of the ring here. No, he's setting him up, kicks him in the lower back. Oof. Oh, just lays him out. And again, bay, big back body drop. One more time. No. Oh, what a spine buster. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, now it's this. Oh, God. Walks on the ropes, jumps, hits him in the fucking shoulder. Mm. Oh, amazing. Uh, absolutely incredible agility there. Mm. But this, however, deadlift, powerbomb. Oh, my goodness. Is he going again? No, countered out. <laughs> Looks like he wanted a second plan school. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he missed with a big boot! Oh, he did miss, but then he caught the leg. Oh, and then oh he caught right the leg. back at him, trading gloves. What a match! Stiff fist, pump handle coming up. Oh, wow, the All pump All the way the slam. Wow, what power! <laughs> and now the pinning attempt. This has been one hell of a match. No. Oh. Two count again. Blicky, can he beat the champ to get a shot at another belt? Oh, maybe not. Oh, intercepted by Foxamania there. Running a drop kick to the back. Foxamania's got to get something going here. Instead, he's going to get. Oh, his back, oh, his back gave out. Oh, that drop kick. That drop kick really did a work on him. And uh, not able to get a power slam in there. Oh, oh and he's working that lower back now, taking away the power. Oh. And look at this. Here comes Foxamania. The fox lock again. Is this time, is yeah, he going to get him? Um, oh, will Flicky tap out? He can't tap out. He, he does. does tap Flicky out. taps out. Oh, what a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> Absolutely diced as always. Foxamania. <laughs> The champ getting the win. Flicky having a tap. Oh, man. You try to do the right things. You try, you try to put your punches in the right place. And it always fucking gets oh, you. for fuck's sake, dude. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, yeah, th yeah. yeah that's, that's not what we need, is it? <laughs> no, certainly isn't. All right, well... Flicky Flack not doing it tonight, tapping out real quick, maybe trying to preserve his uh, preserve his uh, neck and arms there. <laughs> See if he can still lobby for that title match at Royal Rumble. We will we'll have to see, but tonight, YPA standing tall. Foxmania getting the win, and folks, that is going to do it for Stan Firm. As always, my name is Gorilla Mezzo. Thank you so much for having me, Jimmy Ventura. Send us out for the week. Thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay Stop fantastic. You're <laughs> ah! <laughs> <twat> frosty. <laughs> Good night. Stay fantastic. <laughs>